I'm going to tell you how I figured out that my young lady was a keeper, okay? And I said this in a video. You guys might have remembered this one, but there's, there's, well, it's, it's, it goes hand in hand. All right, it goes hand in hand. Shout out to my man, Mrs. Mrs. Diaz. I got your family. I appreciate the love. One way that I know for a fact that your young lady is a keeper, and this is how I know my young lady is a keeper. One day, we got into a fucking, it was, it was a yelling match, guys. I mean, me and her were going back and forth. And I tell you, I don't argue with chicks. I'll tell you firsthand, I do not argue. I do not get into confrontations with women because I, I don't do that. But when you're my young lady, we're going di to disagree on some shit. I mean, she was pissed. Don't know what the argument was about. She was pissed the fuck off at me, right? But let me tell you what happened. We went to the mall. <laughs> I don't know why we went to the mall. Maybe we were on our way to the mall. Maybe something happened while we were on our way to the mall. But we went to the mall. She noticed somebody was pe like really looking at me sideways, like trying to laugh or giggle. And it looked as if, in her opinion, when she told me this, she said it looks like they were trying to pick on me. She was about 10 seconds away. And I shit you not, the mean one is a mean one for real. She was about 10 seconds away from going over there and talking shit to them about, yo, don't you fucking look at my man or some shit like that. Like she was really about to fight for me and I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. So imagine one minute she's damn near about ready to slit my damn throat because we're angry and arguing at each other. But the next minute she sees somebody trying to do something offensive towards me or whatever it may be and she's ready to kill them for it. Maybe it was her energy level in the moment. But when your girl will fight with you one second and fight for you the next, hands down, she's got to be good peoples. If your woman will defend you against her own fucking family, there is no doubt in my mind that that right there is a Filipina that is ride or die. There is no Filipina on planet Earth that is a keeper that won't defend you against her own family. Because you know how families are in the Philippines, guys. You know how strong and tight-knit that is. So if your woman is willing to go out and defend you as her man, a person that she's just met, a person she's in a relationship with, that motherfucker is a keeper for real. Because no Filipina will defend or take her um, her parent, her her man's side over her own family. That's when you know, hands down, baby girl has got your back for real. And that's like one true way that you know. I think that, you know, that whole fighting somebody in the mall shit, maybe my girl was just feeling the energy and she ain't like it, so she was about to go do it. But with the family, there is no way in this world that a Filipina will defend you against her own people. And if she does, bruh, there's no way in this world that she's that she's not a keeper. Because that means she's willing to sacrifice being alienated from her whole family just to be with you. I say sacrifice and potentially be alienated. Not saying that it will happen, but when your young lady is being approached and asked questions about you and she's defending you from beginning to end, like hands down, that chick can't go nowhere and she's likely not going anywhere. That means that she's trusting in you enough to hold you down against her blood. Now, again, we can have a conversation, blood is thicker than water and all that shit, but sometimes not true. Sometimes your family is, you got friends that are closer than your family. That's why I say, if your young lady becomes your best friend, bruh, she's a keeper. If she's going to fight for you one minute, fight with you one minute, fight for you the next, hands down, like, look, man, only I could talk shit about him or only I could say this about him, you know for a fact that your young lady is the one that you should be considering keeping. I told you, I told my girl straight up, kick him in the balls and run. If I ever get into a fight, do that. <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand that fact. Most people don't get that far. But if you ever do get that far in your relationship and you realize that your young lady is willing to, by all means, definitely lay down, I'm not gonna say lay down her life because that seems a bit dramatic, but if she's willing to put it all on the line for you, you got to know baby girl's in it. To, she's in it for the long haul. It's not just about the green card, ladies and gentlemen. It's not just about the uh, passport anymore. If your woman is willing to defend you against, because she doesn't know the outcome, guys. She doesn't know if you're going to stay with her. She don't know that shit. But if she's willing to go hard for you in the paint, if she's willing to be that soldier for you, if she's willing to take 
heat from her own people because of you. You can't tell me, baby girl, ain't ain't one that you can she consider keeping and holding down. That's how I know mine's is real. Filipino wise down. Now in the US, you might find the ride or die chicks. I don't know, it's a little different. But in the Philippines, if they're willing to go that hard for you, I think you should really take time to invest in that. And I think you'll have your moments, okay? You're gonna have your moments where your Filipina is tested. And if she passed the test, even if it's not one that you create your own, but if she passed the test with flying colors, I think you should invest time in that. I understand. I understand my red pill guys. I understand my, yo, I'm going to be single for life types. 100% do what you got to do. But if you willing to put yourself in a relationship, look for the one that will hold you down regardless. The one that'll sit there and say, fuck it. I'm going to ride for him because I know he's got me. I know that sounds like some really cheap, goobly shit, but it's true, man. It is. And especially, yo, Casey, if your woman is willing to fight the jeepney driver because that motherfucker tried to cheat you out of five pesos, that is a keeper. If your woman is willing to fight the jeepney driver over five pesos because he tried to cheat you, that is a keeper. <laughs> she will go balls to the wall for you. I'm telling you, there's no greater feeling on planet Earth, gentlemen. No greater feeling on earth than knowing that somebody outside of your own family, someone outside of your own blood is willing to go that hard for you. You know what I'm saying? It, there, to me, there's just no better feeling. And like I said, it happens to some of us. Sometimes it happens to none of us. But ultimately, when you know your girl got your back, you can't really go against that, you know? That's what I'm going to say. You always need somebody that's got your back, hands down. You can't, you cannot, under any circumstances, fight against that one. I don't care what they say. I don't care what you do. You find a young lady that's going to fight with you and fight for you, she, she might get the pass. She might have earned her spot. You can't find that in everybody. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you can't find that in everybody. That's all I'm going to say. That I'm telling you, that's how I'm letting my gentlemen know that you are a good one. I'm not saying that the gentlemen are always going to respond the way that I did or the way that Casey did or the way that Bob did. Like I'm telling you, not all guys are going to respond that way because not all guys recognize that in their female. All right. I ain't sitting here trying to cape or trick out of anything. I'm just being honest. If you want to know that you were the real one, that to me represents one of the top qualities. In a woman that you seek, tell you, as long as young lady gonna ride for you, ain't too much more she got to do for me. You know your standards, and I'm like I said, you know Doc Easy dude to please, man. I don't ask for much, but yeah, man, that's it. And that had absolutely nothing to do with the topic of conversation, ladies and gentlemen. But that is what it is. Just wanted to throw that one out there. Hope it stuck to the wall. Hope it stuck to the minds of somebody.